Hi everyone, I'm Chris, the Aquarius Traveller. Make sure you subscribe for your worldwide travel content and inspiration. Well, the fridge is all packed and we're both set to head off for the night. The Balloomba Creek camping area is four wheel drive only and located in the Conondale National Park. This is around the Sunshine Coast hinterland. When you're coming from Brisbane, we take the Steve Irwin Way exit, pass by Australia Zoo and Landsborough, then make the turn to Mullaney. After travelling along the Mullaney Kenilworth Road, you will turn left into the Balloomba Creek Road until arriving at the National Park. As you're entering the park, you'll probably notice cars parked on the side of the road. These are the day trippers who don't own a four wheel drive and have walked in for swimming. You will start by going over your first creek crossing. There are a few different creek crossings to get through, especially if you're going to the day use area. All dirt roads and phone service is pretty much non-existent here. There are three different camping areas which are only used by those with a permit, plus area two is the day use. Permits are purchased online at the Queensland Parks website which I'll add into the description below. We are heading to camping area three today which is pretty popular with a nice little creek to swim in. The creek actually runs past all the camping areas but camping area three has some of the deepest pools. Now here, arriving at Camping Area 3. To check in, you just need to get a tag and fill it out with your permit details. Arrived at Site 22, which is not right beside the creek, but it's only a 100 metre walk away. We normally have a camper to sleep in, but since this is a four wheel drive area, we just have the gazebo and the King Daddy swag. We cook with a small burner and have a fridge in the back of the car for the drinks and food. Balloomba Creek Camping Area 3 has 24 different sites. They're pretty spread out between each site. It's a quiet place, but the noise does carry around. The first 10 sites are located along the creek with the rest in behind. It's obviously bush camping, but if you're heavily reliant on solar for power, then keep in mind there are a lot of trees and shade and you will need backup battery power. They have plenty of room for a tent set up and lots of trees to hang towels and clothes to dry. 
The camping sites have a car park separate to where you set up your tent. So this camping area is not suitable for caravans and camper trailers, only tents, swags, or maybe rooftop tents. If you have a caravan, then you'll need to purchase a site in camping area four, which is more open plan. Right beside the camping site number one is the entrance to the creek swimming area and can get a lot of walking traffic. Therefore, it probably wouldn't be my first choice to picking site one or two for my camping spot in this area. There are lots of animals around, including large goannas. Coming right past your tent too. Even some kookaburras looking around for food, but please don't feed any of the wild animals. The camp is now set up, so now time for a swim in the creek and relax for the afternoon with a few drinks. This is one of the biggest draw cards that people have to stay at Balooma Creek and in this camping area. Keep in mind that this was once a very low key place and very few visitors, but the word is out and we had to book three weeks ahead to get this spot booked. The creek can be crystal clear and very clean. However, after 20 people jumping in for a swim, it soon stirs up and becomes a little cloudy. March in South East Queensland is normally a good time for a refreshing swim and especially to escape the heat. I think this area may be a little too shaded and the water is always freezing, or at least it was this time. Don't get me wrong, I still jumped in, but every adult I saw didn't stay in there for very long. Finally, something for consideration, this is a national park and there will be animals around. Apart from the kookaburras and goannas we saw before, there was even this baby snake swimming from one side of the creek to the other. Wild or sometimes dangerous animals are in the national parks, so are best to leave them alone and go away on their own. This is just to show you the beautiful clear water when no one was swimming around to stir it up. How's this for a place to camp for the night? It is bush camping, so there's only uh, tents um, and swags and stuff like that that are allowed. There's a camping spot number four um, just across the road and you can have caravans and uh, camper vans and stuff like that as long as they're able to go four-wheel drive because you do need a four-wheel drive to actually get in here. There's some drinking fountains around but um, well some water around I should say but you do need to boil it to drink it and there's only toilets so there's no showers so uh, we've only stayed here for one night but it's a beautiful nice clear creek to swim in that's not too far away. Um, there is about 20, 20 odd, I think 25 camping spots here available and it only costs $6.75 per person to actually stay here. So, um, but there's no facilities or anything. You've got a, a place to catch up with friends or uh, bring the family or something like that. So, um, but anyway, a really nice place to stay. So. If you guys have never seen the King Daddy swag before, this is it. Just a simple setup around the size of a queen bed. We bought an extra 100ml self-inflating mattress to go inside, which helps sleeping on the ground. Along with this little $2 battery-powered light from Kmart, helps to see in the middle of the night. Matt was good enough to cook dinner and we settled in for the night. A 
awoken the next morning by the animal sounds in the national park. The kookaburra came down watching over us as we were making our morning coffee. Then it was chilling by the campsite for coffee and breakfast. Well, good morning, people. So uh, we've come to the end of our weekend or the end of our night stay. And we had an okay night. It was a bit of a restless night. There's lots of noises in the national park from the wildlife. And we got woken up by the kookaburras this morning, which was really cool. Um, we've had some breakfast and our coffee and stuff, so we're all ready to go. We have a checkout time of 11 a.m. There's not really anybody around checking that you're you're leaving or something, but normally somebody's coming in the next day, uh, so they'll want the site as well. So, but anyway, we're going to pack up and uh, head back to Brisbane. So the next time you're camping, maybe you can give Balloomba Creek a go. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. See you later. Ra 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 ra